All right, so check it out. Mikey Williams beat the case. Um, as expected, he avoided jail time. Even He even avoided probation, you know, which is good. So happy he avoided both of those. Just the full and final details of the court hearing he had, and I'll get into, you know, if he plays or not this year at Memphis. So Mikey Williams, he pleaded guilty to a single count of making criminal threats in connection with a non-injury shooting outside um, his home. As part of the plea, he has to attend conjugate behavioral therapy, gun safety, and anger management classes. And um, he also has to complete 80 hours of community service. So if he successfully completes all the conditions of the agreement and he has no violations, the charge would get reduced to a misdemeanor. So basically until after he completes everything he's supposed to complete, then the charges would get reduced simply to a misdemeanor, which is crazy. You know, he went from eight felony charges to potentially, you know, now misdemeanor, right? So, and also as part of the plea, uh, he's not allowed to have a firearm for the next 10 years. So he has a gun restriction for the next 10 years that's been placed on his record. So he came out with a huge W, you know, his, his lawyer did a great job for him. So, you know, hopefully he learns from the situation, get back out there on the court. Now, as far as Memphis, I probably, I still don't think he plays this year, Um, if I had to guess it, but I wouldn't be surprised if um they figured out a way to get him on the floor this season um i think for him it'll probably be smarter to maybe try to red shirt come in next season you know try to say you're you know say you're not just thrown in there but you know on the flip side like Bronny's about to play too so the difference between him and Bronny is you know Bronny been with usc this whole time uh he's you know he knows the playbook knows how they want to play he knows what's going on so he would have a better transition than um, Mikey would you know for his own sake like I said I think he I would redshirt if I were him and come back the next season I feel like around this time of the year going into December and January is when um the well, one the coach already has his rotation set and two this is kind of like the time they're really in grind mode trying to get wins because you gotta you gotta get a lot of these wins you want to get as many wins as possible before you get in the conference play and you know Memphis they have a they have a decent team uh they're they're fairly they're an older team so him already being out I don't really see how like he could come in and just make like an impact when you know they're, they're already pretty good at the guard spot you know with Caleb um with Caleb Mills and JQ I think for him if I were him personally I would try to redshirt you know train you know get a feel from um what he's supposed to be doing next year try to learn from like guys like jq was a perfect i think jq was the perfect mentor for him because he's been and he's been in college for five years he knows what it takes to be a good college guard so he could put him on game i'm like yo this this how you do this and that you know this is what i would do in this situation like he'll put him on a lot of game on how to be like a terrific college guard then going into the next season he'll dominate because he know what he's supposed to do so I think he has like a lot of good vets who already been through the whole college game that can make him ahead of, you know, a, a lot of the guards already in college. So I expect him to try to play this year, even down to Bronny. Bronny's case is way different. I think Bronny's good regardless. I think like with Bronny, he's going to get a shot in the NBA regardless of anything. I don't care if Bronny averages two points in college. He, he's going to get a shot in the NBA just because before LeBron retires, we just have to see him and one of his kids, you know, play against each other in the NBA. That's going to be so much money. And, you know, with the type of career LeBron has had, that, that would be so legendary. And we all know, let's let's be real, like, it's about money, right? Like, they want to make as much money as possible. Yes, you know, everyone has a love of the game, but they try to make money at the end of the day. Bronny and LeBron on the same floor, and LeBron's going to be in, like, year 24, 23, 25, whatever year he's in. That's going to bring in so much money. Like, you know how much money that'll bring in for the NBA? You know, so that's definitely going to happen. Either Bronny, Bryce, one of them is guaranteed going to the NBA or at least getting a shot. One of the teams in the NBA is going to take a shot, you know, because they, they want that bread, right? So he's he's straight regardless. Mikey's case, like, if he fumbles in college, that's it. You know, like, he's just going to be another one of those, like, high school phenoms that, like, he was, you know, this in high school and then shit didn't work out in college, right? So, but... Um, so I think him and Bronny's situation is different. So if I was him, I would redshirt, uh, try to learn from JQ, who's already been in college for five years, try to learn from Caleb Mills, who already been to, I think, Florida State. He already been to Houston, Florida State. I think Memphis is now his last stop. So try to learn from the guys who already been there so that you can come in next year dominating because if he does what he's supposed to do, regardless when he gets back on the floor, if he dominates like he's supposed to, he could have a shot, you know, because Mikey's a cash cow. Like Mikey brings in, like people want to watch him play. You know, rather you hate him or like him, like he's somebody people want to watch, right? So uh, you'll rather be out there when you dominate and you don't want to be one of those guys who you were nice in high school and then you just become a bum in college. Like if he if he goes into college killing, like Rob Dillingham's doing right now, then you gonna like his name is gonna, 
his name will stay hot and he's gonna get a look for the nba can't really really compare Bronny and mikey but regardless of anything happy you no know, he beat these charges you know happy he's getting another shot you know hopefully he can stay out of trouble stay locked in you know don't end up in no bad situations complete what they told him to complete and get back on the floor y'all let me know what y'all think about everything y'all think he gets on the floor and what y'all expectations for him when he does get back on the floor and um you know as always it's your boy hefe out